Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to another episode of Hearts of Iron 4 and Zig as Italy. And... Yeah. I was gonna say we will survive, but I don't know. Like, it really just... Like I said in the last title of the video, we will survive... Maybe. Because... From all outlooks right now, it looks like we'll be able to... Hold our ground, hold our ports, hold all our front lines, and then slowly but steadily start to push out. But I don't know. Things might very much change. They might do more naval invasions, they might nuke us more, they might assign even more bombers to just crush me. Soviet Union might soon-ish switch to modern tank divisions and just crush me from that. There are many things that may go wrong, there are few things that may go right, so we will survive, maybe, I think, perfectly describes the situation. Um, one thing, before we begin, um, if you didn't check out the last video, I recommend you should, and read the top comment, it should be, well, pinned at the top. He wrote a glorious little story about these two German divisions, which I very much recommend you read, it's from user... Uh, Gabriel Perez, hopefully I didn't slot your name right there, but um, lovely, I love that stuff, like really is getting it sore, it's just, it's that long, so it would probably take me 3-4 minutes to read out right here, so probably shouldn't start the episode with that, but what we should start the episode is with unpausing and then just look if anything and anything has changed, and it seems like one thing they're re-evaluating is their massive dedication to well, the front line right here, which I very much approve of, because with that re-evaluation, re we might be able to retake our dear little Sicily, while holding ground everywhere else. Let's see, do you have any boats in this region? No, you don't, so maybe I can also try with my naval invasion right there. But one thing, you guys should definitely, 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 definitely be trained for the love of God. Let's see, what else we do? Construct repair. Oh yeah, we're trying to repair some kind of factory base right there, but they're pretty much destroying them at the same time, well, in the same rate as we are repairing them. And there we go, the Japanese Empire has capitulated, and I am pretty sure that's just gonna really increase the amount of firepower they're gonna use against me. Because now, there's literally no other enemy in the entire world, except Little Italy. Yeah, I'm expecting these numbers to just skyrocket at any freaking moment. Uh, let's just hold with every plane we might have. Just stop it right now. This is not gonna go well. Let's see, do we have anything that could technically reduce their impact on our units? I don't think so. Uh, well, that would have been good. Too bad they didn't have it. <laughs> uh, let's see, any units, upgrades, I guess regrouping would be helpful. Uh, specialist training done, propaganda done, uh, large education investment, that's also done. Let's see, any guy right here that might actually help us. Uh, war industrialist, uh, maybe, maybe. Yeah, I, ge I guess that. It. Otherwise, we are slow but steadily trying to turn, uh, well, we're trying to turn monarchist right there. So we can, um, well, justify war goals. No, wait, why, why were we trying to turn monarchist? Why in hell were we trying to go monarchist? I have really forgotten why. <laughs> it's completely like, was it because I wanted to justify? justify yeah, it was because I wanted to justify. <laughs> yeah, okay, it was only that sole reason. Okay, cool. We wanted to justify war goals because we wanted to explore Turkey, maybe? I think it might have been. That we wanted to explore Turkey to see if we might be able to do anything right there. Uh, Japan joined against us right now. Oh, really? So, now we are truly, truly, fully all alone. And they even turned the one, well, not really ally, but the one potential friend I might have had to my enemy. Take one unit from there, take one unit from there, attack from both sides. You should get the surround penalty and be killed off. Wow, that was very, very quickly. Uh, actually, no, please walk in from here. It's, well, it's a large chance you attack Naples, then an empty province. But you still wanted to invade right there, so I'm gonna keep my units right there. Uh, field hospital done. 
Awesome, we're really gonna need it. Let's see, can we bump it up even more? Uh, yes, we can. Yes, we can, then we're gonna do it. Fine. Uh, let's see, my units do have not that. Right? This is my unit I'm using. Yeah. Wow, really? That's all? Wow. Even not as good as I remember. Uh, yeah, we should really get this. Phil Hospital. That would be fine. The only thing manpower-wise might be a bit worrying. And then it would be actually really, really great with some anti-air into you. Because every single battle that I have on front lines, on ports, and close air support supports them, will start shooting them down. It won't, and, but mostly it will reduce the effect of their um, air superiority on me. And yeah, that would be pretty goddamn good. But we won't be able to pick it right now. Not in a, well quite long time at least uh, let's see so we're gonna reinforce every single one of our units with well field hospitals that's probably gonna be a couple thousand manpower it's really just gonna help me keep my exp level and yeah keep my exp level and reduce my losses even further give me some trickle back to this so I guess it's not really reducing my losses it's just well reducing the amount of men I actually lose is giving me some trickle back so um, I might actually have to might actually want to bump this up right now to all little serve. Or? Wait, really? It costs 300 to go up that level? Huh. Okay. But yeah, that's another 3% manpower. Wow, that is a massive, massive penalty. It would be actually nice if I took that 300,000 territory. Do we have anything kind of similar to that? And you massively increase that front line now. Damn it. No, I don't have anything. But okay, from 3 million, we gain about... 200,000 manpo manpower. So we would get 20k from this area. We would get... Uh, 100... No, wait. We would get 60k from this area. So it would be a reasonable amount. Right there. I would not complain about that at all. Uh, let's see. At our front line, we're still killing them with... Many fewer losses. Yes, but... Like, even if it's just 800 men I'm losing, that's still way too much for me to be able to survive. Oh, wow, this was quite heavy. Like, a thousand each. Yeah, that's not any good. We need to be, be able to do better than that. This guy, can you pick anything? Do you have anything left? No, not really. Wow, you are really just a super adapt on every single territory piece. Uh, that one was useless. God, it would have been nice if I actually had something else. And you're at max level right now, so I can't really change you anymore. Well, we'll see what we can do. Uh, there we got excavation tech, next level right there. Uh, let's get the next one as well. Just really try to squeeze out every resource we can possibly get from our own land. Uh, let's see, maybe we should actually try to get some kind of synthetic oil refineries. Just be able to shape that up. Maybe. And there we go, they nuke me now again. Ugh. And that really took a hit on our military factories right there. Damn it. Well, try to repair it. Tr just try to repair it a bit more quickly, please. Uh, we really should be trying to repair our civilian factories, actually. Let's, let's really try to find them. Okay, was that really all our civilian factories that were damaged? Oh my god, are you kidding me? A single one? I guess that's what we gotta repair then. Every single civil fa civilian factory will help me right now, so let's try to fix that. Uh, how about these guys? Yeah, you're quite far from actually being upgraded to next level. I'm gonna try to invade here anyway. And of course you have units right here now. Of course you have ships right there, so I can't do anything about it. Uh, let's just take these six units and you just throw in right there to that battle and gone. Come on, reassign your, tr reassign your bolts right there, come on. I just want to do a tiny, tiny nail elevation so I can actually do something offensive. Rather than just sitting back and relaxing this entire time. Uh, engineering, anything right here. Yeah, we can bump up that tech level and we can also get the next, uh, well, the past encryption. Uh, anything right here, any single province I can invade in. This would probably be a good province, but then they can attack me for 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So I'd have to take both of these, actually all three of these. Yeah. One, two, three, one, two, and this would be one, two, three. 
Yeah, we would basically have to go in and take all three of these at the same time if we want to do anything right there. And if you're going to move out with a lots of troops right here at the same time, then that would be the perfect opportunity for me to go in and grab all those three. Well, okay, maybe not from that area, but from this. Come on, just go in. Just go in and take that. Thank you. Uh, then I'm going to leave, well, stay back with three of those divisions. I'm going to move in with most of my guys right there. Take one division from there. And then I'm going to take five divisions from there and five divisions from there to attack right here. Are we really going to actually go in and just grab one piece of territory everywhere? We might actually do it. And that's just to delay these units. I just want to advance right there. Really grabbing one more state right here to me would be such an awesome victory for me. Really, it's Milan. That's five million manpower. No, that won't work. That won't work. You guys have to stay. And that will just be crazy right now to try to hold. There's no bloody point for me to actually hold that province. And that looks like a pretty good, good like screenshot with the planes coming down right there yeah uh, we're not gonna do anything like this you guys are just gonna return return home ASAP it was all of those provinces or none of them and it seems to be n maybe all of them again let's do like this come on take all of them just take every single one of them at the same time okay we're taking this definitely we're taking this, maybe. Come on. I know it's slightly expanding my front lines, but I might have to if I want to do anything. Like, at least I need to take Milan somehow. I need to take Milan because that's gonna maybe actually. No, it's probably not, but I need to take Milan and a couple more smaller provinces here and there so we can may finally expand and grab this state. Because that's manpower, and now we're missing a shit ton more manpower because of all those horrible losses we've had. Let me see, yeah. Actually, we haven't lost too many, but we have some. Oof. Some, some, some terrible 6k right there. Yeah, we're gonna have to bump this one up one more level. Even if I really, really don't want to, we're gonna have to bump that one up right now. Uh, let's see, are we repairing that civilian factory? Yes, but it's constantly being destroyed instantaneously. And military factories, yeah, they are down at 2 right now. Every single time they nuke, that's permanent. Uh, let's take these two units that attack right there. Let's see if we can actually break that. Maybe, but we're going to take horrible, horrible losses. Let's see how much did we lose right there. Yeah, 3k for that tiny, tiny engagement. We're going to have to bump up one more level. Uh, that's just how it got to be. Uh, please attack right there and kill off that US division. Thank you. And here in the south, it's just no. No, no, no. Damn it. I was really, really hoping. Okay, I'm gonna wait until next reshuffle of new units or something, and then I need to push in right there. From all all fronts right here, just break that province. <sighs> but I don't think I can actually break those tanks right there. Wow, yeah. They are horrible. They're just killing killing areas for me. Uh, so, just chill. Just sit and wait right now. Uh, how about this? Oh, we are not continuing. Why, why in hell am I not continuing right here? Pick that one, then that's another, let's see, 2.2%. Holy shit, I completely forgot about that. Okay, that's awesome. Maybe that was why I didn't actually bump up this level, because I was waiting for that. It's going to give me a... One, actually, this level is only really giving me a 15% decrease in factory output, which is basically nothing right now. <laughs> so I guess it's not too bad. I'm gonna bump up and the air and reduce my artillery right now. Could I give all my units one additional artillery piece? Yes, I could right now. Okay, I could. I'm gonna wait a bit with it, but there are two modern ta uh, two tanks and that's everything. Come on, just take that down. Okay, three tanks and that's everything. Let's take it down right now. Nope. And how many losses did, did that was? 
uh, it was 3k for me. Wow, really? That's just so horrible. Oh my god, stop it. Uh, all out, sir, please. And just start bumping up my manpower right there. Ugh. Terrible. Terrible, terrible damage. Uh, moving right there, take down the US troops over there. Nothing right there. God damn it, I really wanted to advance this episode. I really, really wanted to advance and do something fun. Let's see, any enemies? Yes, so nothing to do right there. Bump up this one, one more level. Yes, please. Just continue bumping up Field Hospital as much as we bloody can. Especially if we want to try to, well, push out right now. And there we go, a nice 30,000 boost right there. God damn it, these are completely fresh Soviet divisions right now on our border. Because you can definitely reinforce them. You have manpower. Wait, actually, you don't have that much manpower right now. <laughs> but yeah, you, you can just bump up your level and gain millions upon millions of men. I can't do that. I can't even be close to doing that. Seems like Germany still got our upper hand on us. They still have done more than us. And what the hell is happening right here? Are you really getting that desperate? So you're trying to just advance by all means necessary. Uh, take the 6th Division, so just move in right there. They're not doing anything right now, and I don't have anything planned for you guys either. Yeah, please just defend right there. It's much better than, well, attacking. And if you want to move over that, well, that river for me to attack later, then I'm fine with that. So six divisions, can you stand against that? Actually, it's only four divisions that are actively attacking you, so I guess that's fine. Attack from there, increase the combat width, and then you're gonna do the same thing from the south. Like a single of their tanks are giving me this much trouble. If they just landed with enough tanks, I wouldn't be able to stop them. Let's see, from that battle, we lost 5,000 men from a single freaking tank. So yeah, that really explains why I'm losing so very much right here in the Soviet front. We have expanded a bit, just a tiny bit. We need to go in and continue that battle. Oh God, a single factory right now? On a single freaking factory. I'm gonna cancel my current motorized production, I think. Oh, no, we need it as well. I really need everything I have right here. I guess most useless one is anti-air, but I won't be able to use it later. And you're never finishing with repairing those civilian factories, so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna stay at my military factories. Just try to repair them. And there we go, we just lost our last military factory right there on On military on <laughs> inventory equipment. And it's gonna take ages to really repair that. We have 200,000 manpower right now, I guess that's pretty good, but we need to do something aggressive or we're gonna basically stay here forever. I need to go in right there. Let's see, do a quick check right there. They have tons of units. I'm not gonna break that, I am not gonna break that, that's just a pipe dream. Ugh. If I check right here, you have troops stationed right there as well in defense. I'm not gonna be able to do anything. I really need to push out at the Soviet front somehow. I need to wait for Soviet to screw up and then I need to push in. Because if they just hold me out, if they just stay like they're doing right now, then they're gonna get stronger and stronger, I'm gonna get weaker and weaker, and then they're gonna win. I need to be able to do something. God, this is, this is a horrible situation. <laughs> it's really just horrible. I really didn't want to get bogged down right here. I really, really needed to do something. And I failed. You have failed this city. Okay, 12 extra divisions. Why in hell am I producing them? Like, what's my point behind these divisions? I think I wanted more divisions at the front line. I think. Because now... Once we're expanding a tiny bit, it's gonna well be a drain on our divisions even more, even further. So I guess that's what we gotta do. Get a couple more extra divisions right there, and maybe we can 
eventually advance a bit. Or we really gonna have to take these fights against something like this. That's just suicide. We actually have 5.9k anti-tank guns right now. How in hell have we received so many? That's gonna bump up our piercing by 37% and heart attack. Actually, I think I might have to do some kind of elite anti-tank division. If I did this, that would be a ridiculous amount. But if I doubled you, I gave you more artillery. Like double that. I gave you anti-tank guns to really just damage them. And yeah, one anti-air gun as well to reduce their panel. Actually, two anti-air guns most likely. If I gave this to one of my divisions, that would be a massive improvement. Okay. That would be 30 with. I'll save that. And I would really need U12 divisions to change <laughs> the current division you are. Wow, that would be very nice if I could just say, you are that now. Which I can. I do have enough experience points for it. So I will take th these guys. Duplicate you. And say. Change to this. Okay. So I'm taking all my divisions right now. Every single one. Okay, I guess I'm going to go separately. And do change to this. Everyone already is it, so there's gonna be okay. There are gonna be some change to equipment, or it's just oh, that's just a tiny bit of reinforcement that they actually need right now. So it's not really they need something. Okay, everyone should be that now. Okay, two divisions using it. Who who in hell is still using it? I'm pretty sure I selected every single one of my armies and just said every single one of you switch to this. Okay, let's just redo it then, just in case. Okay. One in ten division. Two division. Hello. Hello, my friends. Uh, well, you're going to change to that as well. Thank you. Okay. Now, I tell these guys who are training this, you are going to become my super... Well, my super divisions. And there and... And there. Yeah. So that's going to be quite a penalty or pain or whatever so you're getting a shit ton more equipment there we go we have everything though for you that you can possibly need we have only 355 anti air guns it's gonna be a more drain on our manpower but it's working you are now gonna train until well do something better I'm gonna get these 12 division out right here and you are gonna be my pushing power Let's see, how many anti-tank guns do I actually have left? From production... Wow, really? Really, I still have 5.1k. So if I went in right here and removed maybe this guy, and you said, give me even more anti-tank guns, that'd be fine. Sure, that would bump up my soft attack and pretty much everything else, but would give me even higher piercing and much higher heart attack, which is one thing I really, really need. And, well, we should probably get one... Actually, let's do like this. One more support air, air right there. Remove one there and add even one more anti-tank gun. Yeah, that's going to be better. It's going to also be less anti-air equipment. Yeah, this is going to be great. Let's save that. This is how you're supposed to be. Okay, we might be able to do something with this division. We might be able to do something with this division. Uh, I really would like to do uh, training right now. Oh god, we're actually losing so very much right now, so very quickly. Let's go down to one right there, one right there. Just to have some production on most of our things. Oh shit. Yeah, we're really gonna have to do something now or never. So, it's now or never time. Armor training. Get these divisions out ASAP. We need, to, we need them right now. Uh, let's see, every single day how much training are you getting? Is this, if it's zero, oh wait, well, it's gonna be 16th of December or in November. Can we wait that long? That's over two months. No, three months. Oh my god, I can't even count months right now. So, this would be the area they're attacking. 
taking province per province. I, I'm going to have them. I need them right now. I'm going to make a save right now and say um, now. Just now, because I need to do something now, now or never. It's do or die, whatever you want to call it. And shit, we have tons of upgrades right there to do that we haven't done. Oh my god, Daniel, why? Why haven't you done stuff like that? Then we are not going to do any kind of thing right here. We're going to bump this up as much as we bloody can. Uh, field hospital, that's necessary. This is, well, all of these research, this is not necessary for war right now. Bump up my anti-air boot, bump up my anti-tank just with everything we have. As soon as you're done, as soon as you're done, we're gonna change you to anti-tank and uh, anti-tank anti and anti-air upgrades. We need to get every single, like my entire nation, need to focus on these 12 divisions right now. Or we are dead. If we stay this course, we are dead. We are all dead. So we need to, well, unstay that course. And make sure we do something. Yeah. So come on, chop chop, get these division out. We have five hundred thousand manpower, five hundred thousand Italians. Every single one are betting on you twelve guys. No pressure. <laughs> uh and I just noticed that we don't even have a front line right here. You're not even planning to reconquer this. You should have a plan to reconquer that. If you're ever gonna do it, well that's a whole different question. Five freaking Soviet divisions right there, that's Pretty goddamn hard, yeah. It's kind of crazy right now. You have tons of light tanks, tons of medium tanks. That's going to give you a good amount of hardness. And all that motorized, that's going to help. Well, my artillery is going to help with that. So we, we have a perfect division to take that down. Well, perfect division would be only tanks. Can we produce tanks? <laughs> no. Uh, yeah, no, no, no. Now, we have 2.2k medium tanks. So maybe we can get some small tank army. would give us 5%. It would give us 5% right there. <laughs> like right now I don't care about speed. I care about power. Are we using... Are we gonna... That's gonna require 450 medium tanks per division. That's way too much. That's way, way, way too much. Uh, let's see. I'm just gonna calculate right now. Uh, if we only switched out you guys, that would give me a nice heart attack bonus. It would reduce my manpower take. It would take, well, 250 per division. We have 12, so, well, actually, that's pretty simple. We would not have enough medium tanks for that. But if we switched out some of these to light tanks like two of them that would still be a bump in everything it will give me a small amount of heart attack it would give a hell of a lot loss, uh, less defense which I'm worried about well actually no you're supposed to be my aggressive division maybe this is the way let's save that screw defense we need to we need to be aggressive right here. <laughs> what the hell am I doing? Uh, let's see that massively also reduced the amount of training time you need. Okay, <laughs> that's a bit surprising, but sure. Uh, you are now done with field hospital level I don't know eight. So you're gonna now go down and get anti tank right there, which is kind of troublesome. I wanted that extra training. I want that extra training time at least. No, they actually wanted the training. Yeah, we need all of these extra heart attack bonuses. We need all of those extra things. There we go. We get that one. We need both encryption and decryption really. But it's even more important that we actually have all of these buffs. It's a massive thing right here. That's like 10% more piercing That's and more heart attack. It's crazy. It's crazy how much we're missing right now. So we're not going to use them until we have every single one of these bonuses and we're going to begin our 
Well, we're gonna begin our full offense with our last freaking card in my hand the next episode. So I hope you guys look forward to that episode when we throw in everything we have or we throw in the gauntlet. It's all gonna depend on those 12 divisions. I hope you enjoyed this episode, that you would like, comment and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye and bye.